Bom, bom, bom. mission, ad gentis, to the nations, faces an enormous task which is in no way disappearing. The mission seems destined to have ever wider horizons. Difficulties must not make us pessimistic or worse, inactive. What counts is the confidence that comes from faith, from the certainty that it is not we who are the principal agents of the Church's mission but Jesus Christ in His Spirit. We are only co-workers. Missionary activity has been carried out especially in isolated regions which are far from centers of civilization and which are hard to penetrate because of difficulties of communication, language or climate. This is still a reality for the Comboni missionaries today, though the image of mission is now wider. Many people now live in large cities, where new customs and new styles of living arise together with new forms of culture and communication. It's true that the option for the neediest means that we go to abandoned and isolated human groups. But it is also true that these groups exist in emerging urban centers. The future of the younger nations is being shaped in the cities. Speaking of the future, we cannot forget the young, who in many countries comprise more than half the population. Young people who represent the future of entire continents. Our times are both momentous and fascinating. While on the one hand, people seem to be pursuing material prosperity and to be sinking ever deeper into consumerism and materialism. On the other hand, we are witnessing a desperate search for meaning, the need for an inner life. The Church has an immense spiritual deposit to offer humankind, a heritage in Christ. All forms of missionary activity are marked by an awareness that one is furthering human freedom by proclaiming Jesus Christ. People put more trust in witnesses, in experience and in life and action than in theories. The Comboni missionaries are committed to peace, justice, human rights and human promotion. These too are a witness to the gospel when it is a sign of concern for persons and is directed towards integral human development. Evangelization is inspired by faith, which gives rise to enthusiasm and fervor in the missionary. In proclaiming Christ to non-Christians, the missionary is convinced that through the working of the Spirit, 
there already exists in individuals and peoples an expectation, even if unconscious, of knowing the truth about God, about man, and about how we are to be set free from sin and death. The Church has always been able to generate among the peoples she evangelizes a drive towards progress. Today, more than in the past, missionaries are being recognized as promoters of development by governments and international experts who are impressed at the remarkable results achieved with little means. The missionary does not have technical solutions to offer for the problem of underdevelopment as such, but offers contribution to the solution of the urgent problem of development by proclaiming the truth about Christ, about the Church, and about man, applying this truth to a concrete situation. The Conference of Latin American Bishops at Puebla stated that the best service we can offer to our brothers and sisters is evangelization, which helps them to live and act as sons and daughters of God. It sets them free from injustices and assists their overall development. The Church's mission consists essentially in offering people an opportunity not to have more, but to be more by awakening their consciences through the Gospel. A people's development does not derive primarily from money or technical means, but from the formation of consciences and the gradual maturing of ways of thinking and patterns of behavior. The person is the principal agent of development, not money or technology. The phrase of Saint Comboni was to save Africa with Africa. The Gospel message offers a force of liberation which promotes development precisely because it leads to conversion of heart and fosters the recognition of each person's dignity. It encourages solidarity, commitment, and service of one's neighbor, and gives everyone a place in God's plan, which is building up the kingdom of peace and justice. Missionary activity demands a specific spirituality. This spirituality is expressed, first of all, by a life of complete docility to the Spirit. The missionary must be a contemplative in action, finding answers to problems in the light of God's Word and in personal and community prayer. The missionary is a person of the Beatitudes. Before sending out the Twelve to evangelize, Jesus, in his missionary discourse, teaches them the path of mission. Poverty, meekness, acceptance of suffering and persecution, the desire for justice, peace, and charity. In other words, the Beatitudes, lived out in the apostolic life. The characteristic of every authentic missionary life is the inner joy that comes from faith. In a world tormented and oppressed by so many problems, a world tempted to pessimism, the one who proclaims the good news must be a person who has found true hope in Christ.